So it's early summer here at Cricket Hill Garden and all of our peonies have now finished blooming for the season. Now before we head off to the beach for the summer, we want to fertilize our peonies first. Um, we do this now because uh, the buds for next year um, are growing already. So fertilize now and enjoy to, in order to enjoy next year's flowers. We fertilize twice, uh, once in the early spring with a quick release granular fertilizer and um, now, however, the fertilizer we want to use is a slower release um, fertilizer and soil amendment. The goal here is to build long-term soil health and fertility. Um, this goes for all types of peonies, your tree, herbaceous, and intersectional. So let's have a look at what we're going to be putting down. The base is going to be this very nice, rich, um, organic compost. This is a uh, this is very uh, well-aged cow manure. Um, this is going to add a lot of just humus and organic material uh, to the soil. Next uh, we have granular limestone. We add this in order to raise the soil's pH. Uh, that's something that we struggle with here always. Uh, our native soil is quite acidic so in order to maintain a pH of between 6.5 and 7 which is the ideal range for peonies we need to add um, lime every year. Uh, however, if you are gardening an area that has uh, naturally higher pH, you may not need to add this. So before you go ahead and add limestone, um, it's a good thing to have your garden soil pH tested. Um, the next amendment that we're going to use is azomite. This is a um, uh, mineral amendment. It uh, feeds all the bacteria and uh, mycorrhizal fungi in the soil that are so important for uh, just general soil, soil food web, soil health, and um, plant health. Uh, and then lastly, we're going to be putting down a bone char, which has a um, pretty high uh, uh, phosphorus content. And phosphorus really, adding more phosphorus uh, increases bloom production on peonies. Um, we're also going to talk about using Neptune's harvest as a fertilizer, but we'll do that uh, in a little while. <coughs> so. Um, we're going to start by adding our uh, granular uh, amendments here. Now, when you put these down, you don't want to put them down right at the base of the plant here. You want to put them down um, instead at the drip line, which is about uh, 18 inches to 2 feet away from the base of the plant. Drip line uh, being where the water would drip off the leaves, so out here. Uh, the reason we do that is because that's really where the feeder roots are. Um, if you just put all of your fertilizer right here, it's really not going to do uh, much for the plant. So we're going to start by putting down our amendments here. We've got a little measuring cup here. Uh, I'm just going to say about a cup, the equivalent of like a measuring cup full of um, lime. Put that down. Just in a ring around the plant here. Got our lime. Next is our azomite. Again, equivalent of about a cupful. And finally, our bone char. Now, it's best if you do take the time to just quickly scratch this into the soil just to help get start on its way to working its way down to the roots. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to add our compost. Do a couple shovelfuls here. Again, around the drip line. About three or four shovelfuls shovelfuls per plant. There we go. So it's going to get rained on and all of this really good stuff is going to start working its way down into the soil. Now if you don't have access to a good um, uh, organic compost, you can use um, this Neptune's Harvest uh, fish and seaweed fertilizer. Uh, the way you would want to use that is um, dilute one ounce to one gallon of water and again water around the drip line of the plant. 
And if you're going to be using Neptune's Harvest, um, you can do that every two weeks. Uh, from now, which is when the bloom is finished, all the way through uh, late July or early August. Um, so that's how we do uh, summer fertilization of peonies here at Cricket Hill Garden.